guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with another Alchemy for the Skin box. I'm super excited about it. Alchemy for the Skin is not a subscription. It's one-off specialty boxes that she makes. Like She makes um, bath and body stuff, skin care, stuff like that. She literally makes it essential oils. It's really cool. And she puts together these very cute themed boxes. Most of the time, they're Harry Potter themed, but not always. I'm assuming this one is because there's a sticker right here that says potion number 113, Hogwarts Apothecary Department. She does send this over to me free for review. That's why I don't know what it is. I looked on her site before I came. She has several boxes currently available to order, several Harry Potter ones. Um, she's got tea boxes, she's got skincare boxes. Most of the time they run $35 to $39 in that area. I did notice she has several um, on sale, discounted. Like there's the Wizard of Oz one, I think it was $18. Check them out, I'll link her down below. If you use my code, Alamora, which I'll also link down below, 15% off. Z, this is a small woman owned business. Her name's Z and she's fantastic. And she also sews. She also has a YouTube channel. That's why she's been unboxing some cruelty boxes. That's why I know that. So I'm like, hey girl, come to the dark side. This is definitely a Harry Potter box. Um, Rita Skeeter, the life and lies of Albus Dumbledore. This is the, I guess it's the Rita Skeeter box. Rita Skeeter by Alchemy for the Skin. Um, I actually have her quick quills. Let me show you. Grab from my Harry Potter shelf. I've actually got the book in question. The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. It's actually just a notebook. But it's got the good, cool, uh, look like it's her book and here's her quick quills that cool i can't remember i think these is i think these were probably from lit joy crate um if i had to guess because i've got so many harry potter stuff i'm not positive but anyway let's get back to this we do have a little brochure in here. Oh, current, current, okay. Currently available boxes at Alchemy for the Skin. Okay, we've got the Dursleys and we've got the 500th Death Day Tea Party. That's a tea box, obviously. And then we've got the 500th Death Day Party. That's probably the skincare one. And Christmas and Hogsmeade Village, all boxes. All skincare boxes are $38 plus shipping. The value is $60 plus. All tea boxes are $34 plus shipping. The Dursley's box is on sale now for $28. I'm really interested in that Dursley's box, honestly. I'd like to see what's in that. <laughs> ah, speaking of quick quills. Speaking of quick quills, oh wow, this is, mine's just like a regular, this might not, this might just be a regular fountain pen feather. This looks more like Rita Skeeter, yeah. This is definitely more embellished like Rita Skeeter's would be. And it's an actual fountain head tip there. It's got a little jeweled base and then the flamboyant flowers. Yeah, this is definitely more, definitely more Rita's speed. Quick quotes quill. Devastating article. How cool is that sticker? It's really cool. Yeah, I just feel like this is all fuzzy. It's not any better. Oh well, I guess it's just cause it's not time. The lighting in here is bad, sorry. I love it. I love it. I'll add it to my shelf. Let's see what she says about this in the product guide. Quick quotes quill. 
an, an enchanted quill that will write an exaggerated account of whatever is heard in conversation. If your quill has a red bead, you have won a free future box. Oh, how cool. Mine's like amber. Mine's like amber, which I'm sure she wouldn't. She gives, she gives this to me free for review, so it wouldn't be really fair for me to win a free box on top of that. So, ooh, uh, that's exciting to whoever may win that. Next up, Ruby Red Lips. Ruby Red Lips. Rita's Ruby Lips. Not quite the Ruby Red as Rita's Lips, but a Sticky Strawberry Sweet Lip Gel. That looks like a poison vial, doesn't it? And it's on a necklace. I'm ready. I can be ready for Halloween with this stuff. Oh, it smells good. It is strawberry. Mm. Love it. Look at the cool packaging. I have never seen a Rita Skeeter box, so I'm super excited about this. Very creative. Next, Queen of the Quill Shea Butter Body Cream. <laughs> uh, let's find this. A wonderfully moisturizing shea butter, body butter and light tropical scent. Pink. Oh yeah. It reminds me of, um, oh my gosh, what is that? Lotion and shampoo and stuff. Oh, I've gone blank. It comes in that, that yellow tub, the butt butter or something they call it. It's what the scent reminds me of, which I love that. It's really nice. And the lotion isn't like a greasy body butter. It's like a whipped. It's like creamy, not greasy. Next. Send in more tea. She makes these tea blends too, I'm pretty sure. We have a loose leaf tea. Where is it? Um, uh, I don't, I don't see it on the, oh, here it is. Is it? She's got it on the guide as triple berry and pound cake tea. It includes strawberry, blackberry, juniper berry, hibiscus, and vanilla. Fancy. Next, we have frog spine soap. Gosh. Vanilla pineapple. There's frogs in there. You see it? It's like gel soap, and I can see the inner frogs. And there's like little frog eggs. Frog spawn soap was a magical joke product that was sold by Zonk's, Zonko's Joke Shop. It causes frogs to spawn in water. Rita was told that a student was trapped in a locker and it would make a good story for her. When she opened the door, it was showered with spawning frogs, which caused her to flee in horror. This soap is pure glycerin soap containing pineapple frog and vanilla bath oil beads. Oh, cool, like the old school bath beads? I don't remember that scene with Rita. 
Um, I need to reread that book, obviously. I've read all the books multiple times, but I'm blanking on that part. Oh, it smells really good. And I think it's so cool that it's got the old school oil beads in it. I remember playing with those like at my grandmother's house and they're squishy. There's one kind of poking out and they dissolve in the bath. Yeah, I definitely smell the pineapple. Next, I'm trying to get all the ones that aren't. Oh. Rita's reading glasses. It's my prescription too. 1.75. Obviously, I like colored reading glasses, and I gotta switch to Rita now. Lovely Rita. Me to me. These. See, I'm loving this box. Kind of get this sticker off. Okay. God, they're so much cleaner than my other glasses. <laughs> I can instantly see a hundred percent better. Cute. These must be filthy. Um, Rita's reading glasses. No explanation needed. Next, Bitch Be Gone Banishing Spray. <laughs> bitch Be Gone! I'm sure it's a room spray. These usually are. I'm picking up like clove or cinnamon. Let's read about it. Triple, triple apple clove butter room spray. Okay. Everyone needs this apple clove butter room spray to keep Rita away. You can also spray it on yourself to keep the other witches away. Nice. So room or body spray. Bitch be gone. This would be fun to have on your desk at work. If someone comes in your office like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Might get in trouble. Okay, I think we've just got three things and they're wrapped up. How fun are her boxes though? So fun. Dragon's Blood Inkwell Candle. Matches the Quick Quill. This is gonna go on my shelf together. I'll put these two on my Harry Potter shelf. Her ink and her quick quill. Of course, you could actually use this if you chose to. Look at those crystals and stuff in it. It smells good. Let's see what it says about this. Dragon's Blood Inkwell. A home for your quick, quotes, quill. Just stick the quill tip down into the wax for a Super prop on your shelf. This is a green dragon's blood candle sprinkled with green Avertine crystals. Freaking adorable. Definitely going on my shelf. Next. This is a glass dropper bottle. It's got everything wrapped up beautifully. So there's no leaks, spills, etc. This is Animungus Potion. You know, she turns into a beetle. Un she's an unregistered Animungus. Animungus. 
how should I pronounce that? Let's see what this really is though. Rita Skeeter's Anamongus front form is that of a beetle. She's an unregistered one and that uses the inconspicuous form of an insect to spy in order to get information to use in her career as a writer and newspaper columnist. She is a boss babe. This potion is a tropical oasis body and perfume oil. Okay. Glass dropper, glass bottle. I'm gonna put some on my wrist. Dabble to ya. Now I'll smell like Rita Skeeter. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really good, y'all. Yes, summery, tropically. That's nice. That's real nice. That smells amazing. We have one more thing. It was a glass something. That's too bad. Here's the, the stem. I'm guessing it was like a champagne glass kind of thing. It's in many, many pieces. Here's the tag. Oh, Goblet of Fire Cinnamon Donuts Candle. Oh, it, I'm gonna get the candle, pick the candle up out of the wreckage. Cause this is really cool, I want y'all to see. I want to cut myself. Okay. Yeah, it's very cinnamony. Look how pretty it is. So that would have sat down on the top of my little champagne flute. There's crystals and then this, Harry Potter's name as it comes out of the Goblet of Fire with the burnt edges. I'm keeping this tag part of it for my shelf. Aww. I'm sure if, um, you know, if you got something broken, she'll take care of you. She'd take care of it. She's great. Bye bye, God, little fire. You were so pretty. I mean, what can we do? Stuff happened. She had it wrapped up really well. Lots of padding, but you know, it happens. Let's read about that. Goblet of Fire Crystal Candle, a glass goblet filled with blue flame candle wax and sprinkled with blue crystals. The scent is cinnamon donuts. Whose name did you pick? I got Harry. Got Harry. And that is everything, y'all. So we got, to recap, the quick quills, the quick quotes quill, the dragon's blood inkwell, the Anamongus potion, the goblet of fire crystal candle, the tea, the Frog Spine Soap, the Bitch Be Gone, the Queen of the Quill Body Lotion, oh yeah, it smells really good, Rita's Ruby Lips, and Rita's Reading Glasses, love it, and I'm going to keep this, Let's put it on my shelf. What do you guys think? Thank you so much, Z, for sending this over to me. I absolutely loved it. One of the best boxes ever, I think, from you. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you liked the video. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. See you at the next one.